it can happen. Someone spots you carrying your concealed gun and shouts, this guy's carrying a gun. What should you do? In this video, noted criminal defense attorney Tom Grieve is going to break down exactly what you should do because this could go badly if you don't handle it correctly. Plus, stick around until the end of the video because we have a gun giveaway you can enter for free that ends really soon. Now, let's watch Tom Grieve on this video. As a former state prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, I've been asked the question before, Tom, if I'm in public and if somebody spots that I'm carrying a gun while I'm concealed carrying and they shout, this guy has a gun, what should I do? Well, number one, remain calm. Try to explain if you can very quickly, politely, respectfully, but quickly being the operative term that you don't intend anyone any harm. You're a lawful concealed carry holder. Then get out of wherever it is that you are leave the shopping cart in the store without going through the checkout line, get out of there because odds are the police are being contacted and the last thing you need to have is a bunch of hysterical people claiming that yes, indeed, you do have a firearm. If you are going to be meeting with law enforcement, make sure that if you can, I would strongly suggest considering to disarm yourself prior to meeting them. So that way you can again be calm, be polite, because remember, when law enforcement gets that inevitable 911 phone call, they're not gonna know what's going on. They're not gonna know who you are or what your intentions are. So the fact that you would arrive and be talking with them, whether it's a traffic stop or whether or not it's in a parking lot, already disarmed is one less opportunity candidly for you to get shot, even though you're trying to follow all the laws there. Police officers are not trying to be bad people, but just remember that they are gonna be skittish and we don't want anybody to be misinformed or to make any mistakes. The last thing is to keep in mind that if indeed this did happen, you need to strongly reevaluate what went wrong. If you were concealed carrying and someone spotted it, I would check to see how can I improve to make sure that this never happens again. Check your holster, check your belt, check whatever outfit you were wearing. How did this go wrong? Spend serious time and reflection to figure out what did I do wrong? Was this an equipment failure? Was this a training failure? Did I reach for something the wrong way? And make sure that that never happens again because anytime this happens, whether intended or not, lives are put into jeopardy. Your life by law enforcement, law enforcement's life, when they're trying to respond to what could be a very dangerous scene, you never want to actually try to repeat something like this again. So always be safe, make sure it doesn't happen. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of the video. And as promised, we have a gun giveaway going on that ends soon. All you have to do is click the link below and reveal which brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.